surveillance video is showing a better picture of what happened before and after a shooting outside of a Cracker Barrel in Columbia. Thanks for being with us tonight on this Sunday. I'm Deborah Kendrick. The shooting happened at the Cracker Barrel on Clark Lane just before 8 o'clock last night. Now we got our hands on footage from a local business that shows what exactly happened. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live for us tonight from Cracker Barrel after looking through that surveillance video. Good evening, Layla. Good evening, Deb. So yesterday when we were here on scene, all we had was limited information from police. But today, yes, we have video that shows the vehicles involved and even shows the people involved. Tonight, Columbia police are continuing to investigate after a conversation outside of a Cracker Barrel last night went from bad to worse and the whole thing was caught on video. We had crews at the scene last night, and this morning, we were able to get surveillance video from a nearby business. Columbia police received a shots fired call at around 7.40 yesterday evening for the Cracker Barrel on Clark Lane. When they arrived, they found evidence of a shooting, but no victim. Officers later located one male victim here on the 4500 block of Rice Road. In the video, you can see two cars and two men standing by the cars. A few seconds later, it appears the man grabbed something from the one car and then two gunshots and then again two more. You can see the one man that was shot crawling on the ground before a car comes back and picks him up. It appears in the video the two people seem to know one another and officers tell us there is no threat to the community at this time. We currently don't have any suspect information. Uh, it's believed to be no danger to the public right now. The victim received medical attention from both CPD and the Boone County Sheriff's Office when he was found on Rice Road. Information on the victim's condition is not available at this time. And while it is believed that there is no threat to the community at this time, CPD is asking anyone with information to contact them or to do it anonymously, contact them, contact Crime Stoppers at 875-TIPS. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Okay, Layla, thank you. And like she said, this is still an ongoing investigation. And if we get any updates on this case, we'll be sure to let you know on air and online. Let's go in and take a look at some weather tonight. It's been a nice Sunday across mid-Missouri.